Close the Pippin Prep Lid by sliding it forward. Press the Test button in the controller on the main screen. The continuity test will take approximately 20 seconds and report a pass or fail message. If the continuity tester indicates pass, proceed to load samples. If the continuity tester indicates fail, the separation or elution branch that is out of range will be highlighted in orange. If a separation lane is out of range, do a visual check to make sure the top and bottom buffer chamber for that channel are not empty or reduced in volume. Use the provided electrophoresis buffer to refill the buffer chambers as needed, then retest. If all the separation branches fail the current test, the cassette may be below room temperature. Wait till the cassette reaches room temperature and retest. If a separation branch still fails the current test, do not use that lane and notify Sage Science support. If an elution lane is out of specified range, remove all buffer from the elution well and replace with 40 microliters, being careful not to introduce bubbles in the elution well. Then retest. A lane with failing elution current may still be used as a reference. Open the Pippin Prep lid by sliding it back. The cassette is ready for sample loading.